extreme streaming of extreme 3D graphics. This is ridiculous levels of 3D graphics. This, first of all, <laughs> come on. This is Michael. Michael is uh, one of the pioneers in the computer industry. Um, he looks like one of the pioneers. <laughs>
glossy. It's extremely hard to simulate, right? Now, why is semi glossy so, so hard to simulate? Well, because you're not just getting the light reflecting on the on the wood floor, which is semi glossy in the back to you, but the light reflecting off of that floor on the glossy part is now going to reflect off of other things in the scene. Mm -hmm. So you're seeing four or five, up to ten, maybe essentially twenty levels of indirection of the light bouncing around from surfaces that are very hard to simulate. Now, the way these the reflectivity and the behavior of a particular surface um, as it reacts with light mm -hmm. differs from material to material. That's right. So we have a very rich material model, which can be programmed to simulate almost all of the materials that are commonly used by people doing visualization in all the standard packages like uh, Autodesk 3ds Max, Maya, Softimage, Dassault, Parametric Technologies, and for all you as our current technology, we have taken the materials that visualizers use and we map them directly into iRay. So they don't have to change their workflow at all, they just have to say, use iRay, and the difference here is they don't have to understand how the render works. So for people who work with high quality rendering right now, you have to really be an expert to make this work properly. To get an image like that, for the subtle effects, you might not even be able to get it, and if you did, you'd be a master of rendering. I just pushed a button, I don't know how to, I don't even have to use these tools. Right now, this was a really good tool, you can close the windows. Right, well, I can do that. Let's, uh, let's close the blinds and see what the lighting looks like with the blinds half open. Again, I want to emphasize nothing is pre, nothing is pre That's just the amazing. Here. And then if we close the blinds completely, you'll see just the light that le that's leaking in around the edges of the blinds, plus some light coming directly through the blinds, again, completely accurate. Now, can we change the time of day now to, to uh, sure. say nighttime? I can sure. just sit here and dink with this all day. It's a lot of fun to play with. If I go back to this view, for example, and change the time of day to night, You'll see another feature of IRA, which is the uh, simulation, accurate simulation of physically correct lighting. So you see there's about 60 or 70 lights in the ceiling, and those lights are being accurately simulated in terms of the area of the lights and how they project it. We even do IES profile lighting. And so what you'll see is that it's essentially what this scene would actually look like, except instead of waiting an hour or a couple of hours, we just saw it. Wow. I mean, we look at the whiteboard, even underneath the whiteboard where that soft shadow is, the way the, the shadow looks like it's bleeding down from the light above it. Mm -hmm. It's just really beautiful. Another thing we can do is simulate different configurations. So let's say the, uh, the uh, client had an empty spot in the office right there. They want to see what would happen if they put another workstation in. So we just say, for example, turn on another table. It throws another table in, and it completely starts simulating from scratch. And 300, that's 300 million, 600 million, 900 million, 1.2 billion, 1.5 billion. You just saw approximately 2 billion sample calculations. That's unbelievable to make that. Michael, this is really a breakthrough.